there is one clear defining trend this year in the entertainment industry, and that is celebrity grudge matches. In the ring, you have Jay Leno versus Conan O'Brien, James Cameron versus Catherine Bigelow, Sandra Bullock versus Jesse James. Although, if you're rooting for Jesse James on this one, you're, you're kind of a dick. Anyway, one thing is clear, if you want to make the headlines in 2010, just be sure to piss someone off. TV this past year kind of sucked. Lee's writing has always been terrible, but the songs keep getting catchier and catchier, so people can't seem to stop watching. Jersey Shore is basically a documentary on how to be a douche, get a spray tan, and get chlamydia all in one day, and Lost remains lost. What? 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 So if you want to watch TV, you might as well just do it online. The trend of music this semester was an overwhelming amount of mashups. Why listen to one song when you can listen to five at the same time? So if you're an indecisive f like me and you can't decide between oldies, rap, classic rock, or pop, this semester you didn't have to. In the world of gossip, it was definitely the year of the cheaters, with Jesse James and Tiger Woods scoring 4 and 11 points, respectively. Which now inspires me to make a public apology. I'd like to say sorry to Mira, Evelyn, Felicity, Nikki, Janet, and Alex. I love you all, but there's just not enough of me to go around. Here's Best of the Best from Cal TV this semester. Cal Sports episode on athlete doppelgangers really taught me that there's a lot of good looking athletes out there. I got my sports tickets reserved for next year. Cal TV journalism piece on budget cuts and Berkeley workers really brought a human face to the issue. Okay, let's do it. Cal Bear hit Sprout and finally tell the flyer people what's up. Like no! <laughs> Cal TV Entertainment episode on the SF pill fight taught me that love really hurts, but that can be cured by getting hit by a monkey real hard over and over. <laughs> 2010 marks the first ever Cal TV Entertainment Lifetime Achievement Award, and it's being given to a man who makes us laugh, who makes us cry, who makes us wish we spoke Spanish fluently, who's a trendsetter in his own right. Space huge, believe in yourself. To Maxwell Fritz Bamsey, the first ever recipient of the Cal TV Entertainment Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Um, I don't know what to say, really. Um, it's been a long time coming, and uh, I've enjoyed all uh, the Excuse uh, me, Max. I'm going to let you finish, but Grandstream have the best correspondent piece of all time.